Hello again, Bible Network. Today I want to speak to you about the difference between unconditional love and conditional love. There's a big difference between them. And um, in in First Cor- First John chapter four verse eighteen, eighteen it says, "Perfect love." It talks about the word "perfect love," which casts away fear. And it says that, let me just take a moment to read that to you. It says, there's no fear in love, but perfect love cuts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So there's a difference, and we looked at that a few days ago, that the love that the Father has for us is unconditional. And the human love, which we naturally have, is the love that is conditional. And we looked at yesterday to the the four levels of love that um, uh, Melvin Fish shares. I want to tell you today about just highlight a lot more on unconditional love, and and then we'll look at. Um, the difference, what makes them so different. And the word there is the condition, the condition that we put on it. If you don't know me, if you're listening to me for the first time, my name is Ade Subanjo from the Bible Network, adesubanjo.com, adesubanjo.com, where I share with professionals how to be, live a life of impact, make mega, mega impact, make disciples for Jesus as a lifestyle without having to uh, leave your job and become an evangelist. You live your life in the secular world and make disciples regularly uh, as a lifestyle. And today I'm going to just continue to share with you the difference between um, unconditional love and uh, and uh, imitation, uh, and uh, natural love or lower levels of love i first began to you know focus on this when i read a book called real love by greg beer and i I recommend you to read that book as well he uses the word imitation love for every other kind of love that's not that's uh, conditional He, he uses the word imitation love and he calls uh unconditional love real love and when I first read that book, it was very interesting because all the things that he was saying there, I could see them. And there are things that um, you find in the Bible and I've been reading in the Bible, but he, he puts them in a very interesting way. And the way he put them as, a, as imitation love, I find very interesting because really when you when someone when you put a condition on love it doesn't last it doesn't really last and doesn't feel good so what's the difference the difference is that uh, when you when you love when you love unconditionally it means that you continue to love regardless and 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 i believe that is the correct way to love because we are made by love to love we are made by love to love and so regardless of who we meet how they behave we we continue to love because we we just love beings we love people we want the best for them and so today i want to define unconditional love unconditional love is having the the, desiring the best for someone desiring the best for anyone without thinking without wondering or being influenced by their reaction, whether they say thank you or not, wh- whether they do well or not, you love them, you desire the best for them. Having the desire, desiring the best for another without regards to how they react, without regards to what you gain from that love. That is what um, unconditional love looks like. And then the conditional love is what we defined yesterday. Now, there's a, another part to unconditional love that I like to share also, which is not withholding good from anyone that wants it, not withholding good for anyone that is willing to receive it. 
as long as it's within your power to give it. That's unconditional love for me. Uh, I believe that unconditional love or perfect love has two sides to it. One side is desire, to desire the best, desire the best for anyone that come across your path. I believe that's how Jesus lived. He was always wanting to give life to anyone. He came to people he made, but these people, we the humans, we were ready to kill him. And yet he came to rescue us from the sin that was destroying us and the plans of the enemy. And also the salvation that we have is available for everyone that wants it. That's that's unconditional love. And once you begin to think about this, once you begin to operate with this mindset that, you know what, I'm going to desire the best for every human being that comes across my path. It, it, it moves you from a, a, a negative mindset and simplifies your life. Why? Because you have a simple, direct reaction to everyone, regardless of who they are, which is I will desire the best for you. Whoever I meet, whoever I see, I'm going to want the best for them. You don't need to be rich. You don't need to be uh, 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 have all the money to meet their needs. No, you just need to desire to have that. And so... You can love people you've never met. You can love people you've never seen. Why? Because you want the best for them. And then when you meet them and you have anything that they can um, be, benef- uh, be benefited by, you are able to do that. You're able to give it to them. Uh, and, and if they want it, then you go ahead and give it to them because you simplified your life. You're not saying, if, you, if, if I need you, then I'll love you. Or you're not saying, if you love me, if you, if you meet my needs, I'll meet your needs. You're just out there to love. It opens up a lot of doors for us to be a blessing. It, uh, it aligns us with the, the life that our Father God has called us to, just like the scripture says, our Father in heaven reigns, brings reigns on both the the good and the evil. Why? Because he is God and he loves and he blesses. And anyone that comes to him receives blessing. Now, of course, because he's also the judge, there's also that part where if we, if we go against his set laws, then you receive the set justice. That's our Father and we are his child, children, you are his child, you can walk in that truth. So today as you go out, think about it. Everyone you meet, be, bring them the best. Want, desire the best for them. And whatever you have that you can offer them and they are willing to receive it, then you give it to them. I always bless people that I see in my heart and outwardly because that's my way of saying, you know what, I desire the best for you. I bless them. I speak blessings and good words to encourage them into their spirits. And if they receive it, then it stays with them. If they don't receive it, then that's all right. Um, it doesn't matter uh, what whether they receive it or not. I just keep releasing blessings from my life to others. So that's it for today. I I hope you have been blessed and I pray that um, the Lord bless you. Uh, I ask that the presence of the Lord be with you. The strength of the Lord walk through you today as you go about your activities. And uh, in Jesus' name. If you've not heard the other parts of this message, you should do that. You can find them on my Telegram channel adesobanjo.com slash telegram, adesobanjo.com slash telegram. The Lord bless you.